Hello guys, so I'm going to be doing an album review on Elmatic by Nas, so let's get right to it. And by the way, so by the way, it's like the 30 year anniversary of Elmatic, so y'all check it out. So for the first track on here, we got the Genesis. Basically, it's like an intro skit track with Nas, AZ, um, Nas's brother, Jungle, and like two more people basically uh, rambling about bullshit and New York crap and all this stuff just like having a conversation about shit um in my personal opinion I think that Nas should have just rapped on this beat basically and the beat was dope basically but you know just talking over it to me was just kind of annoying and easily skippable so I gotta give this uh I'm gonna rate this song I'm gonna give it like a it's not really even a song it's like a skit because in because, like, in real life, like, on some real shit, I really don't like skits on albums, basically. It's just, like, a wasted, like, track, and it's just filler, basically. So, in my opinion, I'm going to give this, like, a, the first track, Genesis, is going to get, like, a um, 7 out of 10. So, next up, we got New York State of Mind. So, the Genesis was produced by Faith Newman, and this track over here, New York State of Mind was produced by DJ Premier. Now, this song was basically about um, Nas in the streets of New York and shit, seeing crack dealers and bullshit and just the New York experience in the hood. Um, the beat by Premier, in my opinion, it was... <laughs> Y'all gonna get mad. But in my opinion, it was kind of mid to me personally. New York State of Mind 2 was a whole lot more better. I give that beat a 10 out of 10. New York State of Mind 2 was just like way more. The beat was like way more like soulful and it had more life to it, basically, you know, and it was like it had that it had like that harmony to it, too, as well. But New York State of Mind 1, um, you know, it was all right, you know, basically. So I'm going to give it the rhymes were also a beat, too, on this. The rhymes were 10 out of 10, but like the beat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it like a, mm, give it like a 7 out of 10. But this track as a whole, I'm going to rate this track, I'm going to give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Alrighty, so the next track we got is Life's a Bitch. So I give this beat a 10 out of 10. I give AZ's verse a 10 out of 10. One of the best verses in rap history. And I give Nas's verse two a ten out of ten. This song is just immaculate. There's nothing else you could really do with this song, like no like uh, imperf imperfections at all. So ten out of ten. Now the next track we got is "The World Is Yours," and also that track was produced by uh, uh, Les and Nas. Also, the message of the song "Life's a Bitch" it's just basically saying, "Hey." Um, get on your shit and actually do shit with your life. Don't procrastinate because you never know when you're going to leave. The message of the song right there. Moving on to track four, The World Is Yours. So The World Is Yours is basically produced by Pete Rock. So I give this song a 10 out of 10. Like I said, um, there's nothing really wrong with this beat at all. Or the lyrics, rhyme schemes, they're on point. 10 out of 10. And also, Jay Z actually sampled uh, Nas's uh, lyrics. I'm out for I'm out for dead presidents to represent me on his track "Dead Presidents" in 1996, I believe, on his uh on Jay Z's "Reasonable Doubt." So, track five, we got "Halftime" by Nas. So, this track was produced by Large Professor. Um, I'm gonna give this song a 10 out of 10 again. The beat selection. The rhymes, the lyrical, spiritual, miracle format with a dope beat. It's just immaculate. So I got to give it a 10 out of 10. Next track, we got Memory Lane. So the Memory Lane beat was produced by Primo, DJ Premier. And this beat is way better than New York State of Mind. Give it a 10 out of 10. Also the lyrics. Also the lyrics by Nas, the lyrical, spiritual, miracle format. Gotta give that a 10 out of 10. So the song, vocal presence, the beat, and the lyrics, 10 out of 10.
Next song we got is One Love. So One Love is produced by Q-Tip. The vocal presence by Nas on this track is just amazing. He has that, uh, you can really feel that aggressive, like, New, New York, like, masculine feel, basically, like, some hood shit, basically, on this beat. And, um, and the beat also was fire, basically, in the hook, too. You know, a classic song. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. All around, all across the board. And the next track we got is One Time For Your Mind. So One Time For Your Mind was produced by Large Professor. And Nas and Grand Wizard were on the hook, basically. Doing the One Time For Your Mind. One time, you know. And in my personal opinion, this is the best song on the album. Like, with the way the beat is slowed down and just the beat is so ill. Sounds so wicked. I love that shit. And the rhymes, too, were immaculate. And just... It's just that laid back feel on this track by Nas, like the way he's just controlling the mic. That's just like true MC science right there, basically. So, and I know it's a slower beat, but it's still dope as fuck the way he's been doing it like that. The way he was doing that shit, the way he was moving on that track, that shit is just, you know, dope as fuck. So I got to give this track a 10 out of 10 all across the board. Now for the ninth track on the album, the second to last track is called Represent. So represent was produced by DJ. Pre so represent was produced by DJ Premier, and this beat is flawless. This the lyrics are flawless, the vocal presence flawless. Ten out of ten track. Now the last track we got on the album, track number ten, it ain't hard to tell. Let's get to it. So the last track, it ain't hard to tell, was produced by Large Professor. Um, so basically the da 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 and even the beat in the background that's basically sampling Michael Jackson's human nature from Thriller. That da 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 I gotta give this song a ten out of ten. And they the way they sampled MJ was just the right way. They didn't fuck it up. So ten out of ten. And um lyrics too as well. Ten out of ten. The braggadocious the braggadocious like trash talk by Nas basically throughout this throughout the three verses immaculate 10 out of 10 so let me give you guys my favorite songs from 1 to 10 so number one it ain't hard to tell we got one time for your mind number three we got memory lane sitting in the park number four we got uh life's a bitch number five the world is yours Number six, we got One Love. Number seven, we got Represent. Number eight, Halftime. Number nine, New York State of Mind. And then number 10, The Genesis. And I'm going to rate this album. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a, a nine out of 10, despite the two seven, well, despite the 7.5 out of 10 on New York State of Mind and the 7 out of 10 on the Genesis, I'm still going to give it I'm still going to give it a 9 out of 10, basically, because that Genesis track was basically filler. Basically, didn't need to be on there. And New York State of Mind was an all right beat, basically. But this album is a million times better than To Pimp My Butter. And this album is a million times better than To Pimp a Butterfly by Midrick Lamar. <laughs> Uh, whenever people say, oh, To Pimp a Butterfly is the greatest album of all time, I'm like, nigga, I'm like, nigga, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Illmatic is a million times better, bro. Bro, Nas is I Gave You Power on the It Was Written album. Freaking clears Kendrick Lamar's whole entire catalog. It's not even funny. 